Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. Before I start to this video, let me know like how many people got the assurance from your manager that you will get on site. <laughs> Everyone might be thinking in their mind itself, okay, my manager gave me the assurance that I'll get on site. Let me tell you the background story of it. Okay, as per my experience. So basically what will happen, let's say you have a 10 people in your team and obviously there will be a single manager. What that manager will do, you know, that manager will tell to each and every person saying that you will get the opportunity in US, UK and such kind of things they will tell it to you. What do you think that he will also mention you that don't tell this thing to anyone. So internally when you are coming out of that room, basically it's a room, you know, that secret room will be there. Whenever you are coming back to that secret room, you will thinking that, oh man, I got the onsite opportunity. I will get the onsite opportunity in future. I should not tell this thing to everyone. <laughs> but internally what will happen, you know, everyone is getting the same site, <laughs> same sort of shit He's saying like you will get the onsite. But at the end, what will happen? No one will get the onsite. Most probably if you are very, 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 very lucky, I'm telling you, okay, if you are very, very lucky, then and only then you will get the onsite. But at the end, you have a competition with the 10 people. And if there are 10 managers are there, you know, from different, different projects, so there will be always a project uh, costing and all those different, different things will be there. So they need to understand like, okay, can we make someone to go to the onsite? If yes, then who is that person? So most probably only one person will get the opportunity and nine person will be sitting at the same place with the same package for longer duration. So this is the strategy. See, what my understanding, what my, you know, suggestion to everyone that if you think that you are staying with the company, which is, you know, giving you good package and good knowledge and you are getting the opportunity to learn something, then you should stay there for longer duration. But at the end, you know, what will happen? Let's say you stay there for some particular year, maybe three years or four years. Okay. Then after that, you thinking that, oh, daily I'm getting the same sort of work. I'm not getting anything, something extra. Then what to do? Then when you are putting down the paper that time, you'll ask your manager, uh, hi, X, Y, Z. I want to put down the paper. I got the opportunity with the, some other different organization. Something like that you will say to them. He'll say that don't put down the paper. I'll give you onset opportunity. <laughs> this is the trap they will, they will, you know, do it uh, all the time. So what do you need to do? What do you think? Most of the time, what the people will do? You know, they will wait for one year. They will wait for one year, two years, assuming that you will get the onset opportunity. So you will, you will continuously work hard. See, now when they are giving you a push like that, I'm giving, I'm going to give you onset opportunity. You'll put your hundred percent. No 100%, it's 200-300% you will put it. And at the end, what will happen? After spending 2 years, you will never get the onset opportunity. So there is a loss of 2 years, specific to the technology and specific to the duration that you passed there without giving some extra knowledge and with the same package. Because if you would have switched the company before 2 years, that would be your, you know, another chance of switching and obviously your package will get increased. So this on-site opportunity trap is something guys, I would request everyone, don't go into that. Think yourself, don't depend on anyone, use your mind, discuss with the friends, colleague and then you decide like what you need to do. So here I'm not saying that you will not get the on-site, I'm saying that you will get the on-site but at the end, you need to understand that when you are getting, getting the onset. See, the best time to get the onset is before marriage. Because that time you are literally very young. Okay. I'm also still young. That's not a problem. But, you know, at the, at the early age, at the early age, like let's say before three, four, five years of experience. Okay. When you have three, four, five years of experience. That time, obviously, you know, you'll be uh, like a fresh bird. You know, we'll, you'll not, you'll be single most probably. Okay, that time you can go to the on site, earn the money, you will not have dependencies. So obviously, you know, you can you can save a lot of money there. But let me tell you the another story. Let's say you are little bit experienced. Let's say you have a 10 years of experience. Now, obviously, you know, in the India itself, you'll, your package will be really good. Okay. Now, the package that you are getting here, and if you try to compare the package that you, you are getting in the on site, I'm not saying that it's the same to same, but I'm saying that 
finally the amount which is getting saved in your pocket it will be almost same to same and again you need to compromise a lot of things like you need to go alone there maybe you're going if you're talking about the us obviously you know us is having a lot of problems like you know about the uh, the you know they have this lucky draw and their process is very very time consuming so what will happen so when you are going there you will not first of all you know your wife cannot be work in as per my understanding okay i am not 100% sure but what my understanding is if you are talking about the us you need to go alone and then if your wife is working you both are working so you both cannot work in the us location at least for initial few years so obviously let's say you are you and your wife is working in the india location so there are two people working and again you are making your wife career spoiling there when you are going to the us you are asking her to you, you should not work because i am working again what's happening <laughs> and you are going away with your family friends and social things will not be there so think twice whenever you are looking for opportunity timing is important then you need to also understand how much you are saving in your pocket if even though if you are going so you need to take the suggestions those who are already staying there all those calculation you need to do and accordingly you need to take the decision if you ask me see if you are getting the good opportunity in india itself you should you 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 don't need to go to the outside or anywhere you can earn here itself let's assume that there are two family member are earning you are working and your wife is also working by any chance okay i'm just taking one example or if you are alone working but your package is really really good do you really think that you should go no so think on it guys this is my personal suggestion i may be wrong but you need to think wisely that is important please do like subscribe and share this channel if you are looking for real time trip training definitely you can contact me bye bye